How do I, 25F, handle my husband's, 29M, obsession? First ever post, I've always been a reader so please forgive me if I don't format properly. Background, my husband 29M and I, 25F, have been together for about 5 years and only married for one. Before I started dating my husband, I had been cheated on a few times and this really caused me to have trust issues. I have gone to therapy and tried to seek help for my trust problems. First incident with husband, when we first moved in together, he left his phone sitting on the table and a notification from WhatsApp dinged. I picked up his phone and went through it. I found messages on WhatsApp between him and other women talking dirty and nude photos. He claimed that they were not real women and that they were just bots. He said that regular porn wasn't doing it for him so he would message the bots for photos and then when they would send the link to pay to video chat, he would no longer message. I was very upset about this and viewed it as cheating. He somehow managed to convince me that it wasn't cheating because they weren't real women. I started going to therapy after this to try to help with my trust issues and urge to check his phone. A few years later, he left his email logged in on my computer and I did some hardcore FBI type of snooping. I found that he emailed a massage place about happy endings to see how much they cost. And I found that he had a profile on some weird website that was like a porn slash local hookup website. There were no messages but it showed that he had been online during our relationship and his profile picture showed him, from the shoulders down, clothed but his dick imprint from his shorts, and he was sitting in front of a big piece of wall art that we bought together so I knew that this profile was recently made. When I confronted him, he said that he was just bored and made the sights to jack off to, and that he messaged the massage place when I was on my period and he wasn't thinking clearly. Tonight's event, I had one of the worst days I have had in a very long time. I live very far away from my family and found out that my parent is in the critical care in the hospital. I had to work a long shift and had a very hard time keeping it together but I managed. When I got home from work, he was home and watching TV in the living room. He made small talk and then said he was going to get ready for bed. About 30 minutes go by and he hasn't said goodnight or came back to the living room so I go to see what's going on and when I walk in the room he's watching naked girls on TikTok. I called him F Kling disgusting left the room and went to take a shower. A few minutes go by and he storms into the bathroom, pulls the shower curtain and screams in my face that I'm a grown adult. I shouldn't feel bad about wanting to watch porn and my only response was that I do not want to talk to him. I repeated this several times in a calm voice and he continued to scream in my face. I feel so broken because this has continued to be a problem in our relationship. Am I overreacting? Is this normal behavior? I worry that his obsession with porn is going to lead to him having an affair. Too long didn't read, my husband, 29M, and I, 25F, have had several problems regarding porn and porn chat sites. I had a really hard day today and instead of him comforting me, he went into the bedroom to watch tic-tacs of naked women. And that he messaged the massage place when I was on my period and he wasn't thinking clearly. Throw the whole ass man out, he's broken. And he screamed in your face tonight, multiple times, leave, just leave, divorce. Since I know not everyone views this the same way I will say that I don't care if my husband watches porn, this guy is not watching porn he's reaching out on social platforms to individuals. Two entirely different things in my eyes and what he's doing is considered cheating. If my husband was doing this I would think he was cheating or looking for someone else to cheat with. You're focusing a lot on the porn thing instead of the fact that he barged into your shower to scream and intimidate you while you were naked and defenseless. That alone would be reason enough to leave for me. Honey your husband is cheating on you, and he's somehow convinced you it was with bots. Go be with your family right now. You'll regret not spending more time with them in favor of your probably soon to be ex-husband, especially with your parent in critical care. In my opinion, your marriage is done. He screamed at you because you caught him watching porn. Is that how you would treat someone you supposedly love? 
I found messages on WhatsApp between him and other women, talking dirty and nude photos. He claimed that they were not real women and that they were just bots. Excuses. I was very upset about this and viewed it as cheating. He somehow managed to convince me that it wasn't cheating because they weren't real women. I started going to therapy after this to try to help with my trust issues and urge to check his phone. Aslighting. You don't have trust issues in this particular situation at least. You have a cheating husband. You know what they say about cheaters. I called him F Kling disgusting left the room and went to take a shower. A few minutes go by and he storms into the bathroom, pulls the shower curtain and screams in my face that I'm a grown adult. I shouldn't feel bad about wanting to watch porn and my only response was that I do not want to talk to him. Repeated this several times in a calm voice and he continued to scream in my face. That is no reason for him to throw a tantrum and start screaming in your face. No, what he's doing is not normal and no you're not overreacting. He's a cheater. Maybe he's just had a harder time finding a warm willing body, but the ambition to do so is all there. Contemplating breaking up with my 26F boyfriend, 27M, because of sleep. Am I crazy? Hi guys, I need an outside opinion on my relationship as I might be too sleep deprived to think straight. My boyfriend of 9 years moved in with me 2.5 months ago. We live in my one room apartment, there's literally one room, a kitchen, and a bathroom. We have a bed and a couch in the room. I have anxiety disorder, taking meds and going to therapy, and I need 8.5 hours of sleep. I used to nap during the daytime and that wasn't good. Both lack of sleep and napping mess up with my mental health. Right before my BF moved in I had developed a nice routine of going to bed at 11 pm and getting up to about 8 am. I also wasn't napping during the day anymore. My boyfriend works a lot, regular hours and shifts very extroverted and has a chaotic lifestyle. First month I needed to drive him home from work at 2 a.m., so I had to get up at the middle of the night, so that ruined my sleeping routine pretty quickly. Our days, he returns from work in the evening, sleeps till about 9 p.m. and goes out with friends. He when comes home somewhere between 11.30 p.m. to 1.30 a.m. Each time he returns I wake up and find it very hard getting back to sleep. He is chronically sleep deprived and doesn't hear his alarms. So there are 3 to 4 alarms every morning at 6 a.m. I wake up by the first alarm and can't sleep until he leaves for work. 7 a.m. BF also snores badly. He put on weight and he smokes quite a lot. He most likely has some chronic sinusitis because of it as he's always clearing his throat. During his late meetings with friends they usually eat fast food and that exacerbates snoring even more. To top if of my depression, anxiety medication side effect is nausea. Because of that I take it before sleep, before I take the medication in bed fall asleep in 10 minutes and sleep till morning. Now, if I'm awakened during the night I'm nauseous. That sucks and makes it even harder to fall asleep again. Things we've tried, 1. I've tried several types and brands of earplugs. Sadly they all either hurt my ears or fall out. They only reduce noise by 20 dB so I can still hear snoring and other noise. 2. My BF sleeps on the sofa in the same room. This doesn't help that much as the room is small. 3. BF took a course of antihistamines and pseudoephedrine. It helped but you can only take them for 2 to 3 weeks. 4. I use white noise. This was the most helpful with snoring but I'm still woken up by BF coming home, he's naturally loud, sometimes tries to talk with me etc, and his alarms. I also need to set up the white noise very loud and keep it very close to the point there my head is vibrating and I get tired of that. 2. 5. I talked with BF about this. He doesn't want to see doctors because of snoring, also, there's a wait list of 2 years for a sleep study. I feel that he'd need to change his whole lifestyle to fix the problem and that's just too much for him. Lose weight, quit smoking, stop hanging out late, stop eating late, stop overworking. Even then, he says he only needs 5 hours of sleep while I need 8.5. Consequences? 1. I miss sleep. I miss being able to sleep through the night uninterrupted. Tonight was a good night and I only woke up three times, one time when he was going to bed, one time due to snoring, increased the volume of my white noise, 
and one time due to alarm clock, put the earplugs in. However on bad nights I wake up about 10 times and ugly cry for 45 minutes to 1 hour. 2. I started napping during the day, again. 3. Because of number 1 and number 2 my anxiety got worse. 4. I miss my classes because I can't wake up in the morning. 5. Now, if I get woken up during the night, my stomach starts hurting. 6. General feeling of hopelessness. So what do I do? Any ideas? I'm tired and I'm thinking about breaking up just so that I could get back to my sleep hygiene habits. However we've been together of 9 years, and I thought we'll get married, and have kids, and it hurts so much. Too long didn't read, can't sleep properly because of BF's hectic lifestyle. Thinking if this is a deal breaker or if I'm missing something, or overreacting. Backslash. Edit, BF's position, he has told me that his family was always loud during childhood. Whichever family member woke up first would wake up all the others because he or she would be bored. BF can sleep through any noise, hence, doesn't hear alarms. Also, he says he's even more sleep deprived than me and has it worse. He's a resident surgeon and does very long shifts. So he believes that sleep is for the weak, he mostly applies this to himself. Definitely not to his patients. He's on a survival mode because of work but doesn't have healthy coping mechanisms. Edit 2. Lots of people commenting on my mental health. I'm more sleepy than depressed so I might have overstated that. I'm still quite functioning just more anxious. Edit 3. Guys, since my edits people are putting a lot of emphasis about my BF being a physician. This isn't related to my issue but I feel that I have to address it. I understand why everyone expects their doctors to model healthy lifestyles. Sadly, reality is different. Residency is hell. People can't work 48 hour shifts and prioritize sleep, too. Doctors commit suicide at twice the rate of general population, this says quite a lot. Sorry for the off topic. I'm still woken up by BF coming home, he's naturally loud, sometimes tries to talk with me etc. And his alarms. This is the problem. Issue isn't his lifestyle, the issue is he's being inconsiderate. If he was being considerate, then when you were asleep he would tiptoe around, try to make as little noise as possible, and generally change his conscious actions to avoid waking you. And he most certainly would not try and talk to you when you are sleeping. These things are valid complaints. That is not asking him to change his lifestyle, quit smoking, work less, go out less, eat better, etc. That is asking him to be considerate when you are sleeping. The most pressing issue isn't changing your relationship status, it's changing your living situation. He needs to move out, like yesterday. Whether or not you stay together after that is up to you. I wouldn't, personally, he sounds like an inconsiderate dud of a partner. But once you've done triage to heal your sleep cycle and end this mental health crisis, you'll be in a better position to assess the relationship plus you'll have more mental and emotional resources for your whatever needs to change. So, normally I wouldn't say this is breakup worthy if he was willing work on this issues. His unwillingness to change any of these things shows that he's not prioritizing you or your needs. Sleep is important, and he should at minimum be willing to come in at a decent hour to not wake you up. If he's not willing to do that, can you imagine what your life would be like long term or with children in the picture? Yeah. There are some things that are excusable but he comes home in the middle of the night and then tries to talk to you. That's not just having different sleep habits, that's him actively disrespecting yours. My friend's boyfriend is much older than her and I'm worried, am I overreacting? Trigger warning for pedophilia slash grooming. Also this is in Germany where you're an adult once you turn 18. I'm on mobile and English isn't my first language. I don't really know how to explain this, she's not really my friend, she's in my class but honestly it just never really clicked, the chemistry is just off. You know how it is, sometimes a person is nice and you're friendly with them but there's just not enough to be friends. We often talk in school but don't meet with each other in our 
our free time. TL, Dr. She just recently turned 18 and her boyfriend of 4 years is 44. That's the problem. I don't care what adult people do with their lives but when she told me about their age gap I got uncomfortable and asked her what her parents thought about this relationship. She said they approved and that her BF was in her parents bowling club. That's how they met. I think it's not right and honestly I feel disgusted thinking about it. But she made it clear that while she appreciates my concern, it's unnecessary and everything is consensual. I don't have a problem with adults being in relationships with age gaps, and while I do think it's a little weird that for example Leonardo DiCaprio is 45 and his GF is 23. I know they're both adults and she has a job so she's probably not dependent on him and doesn't feel pressured by him to do things she might not be ready for. But she was so so young when they got together and even though the age of consent here is 14, see edit, I still think it's very wrong to do anything intimate with a literal child when he's so much older. I know they're having sex, she told me about it before I asked her to keep things like that to herself. I don't like talking about that in general. TBH I see him as a pedophile and her parents as insane for not seeing a problem with it. I've met her parents before and had I not known this I would have thought they were completely normal. I didn't tell her about how strongly I dislike him, I never met him and I don't want to. I did tell her that adults and children slash teenagers have different levels of maturity and so there are some moral issues which is why I would really prefer is she could stop telling me about him. She disagreed and said that she She's matured very fast and was never as childish as others her age. She acts like she's a real adult. Now that she's 18 she technically is but she's still in school and never had a job and lives with her parents and her BF is a 44 year old teacher and homeowner. She's often at his place and cleans and cooks for him, like a housewife. I told my friends about this and they said that since she's an adult, she can do what she wants. My one friend said that you can't control who you love and the other said maybe she's like a girl old digger slash sugar baby and just likes the lifestyle, nothing wrong with that. And even it's probably really helpful because he can help with her homework. I think it wouldn't be that big of a problem for me if it hadn't started way before she was 18. Yesterday she told me that he wants her to move in with her right after graduation, literally on the same day. She and her parents are excited for this to happen. It's rubbing me the wrong way. Like I said I'm not really friends with her so maybe I don't know enough to judge but she keeps keeps talking about him and I feel like she's a victim. My friends say to leave it alone and that I would be an asshole if I got them to break up or made her think she's a victim. I don't know if I'm really in the wrong here but it's their life so maybe I don't have any rights to criticize. I watch a lot of true crime so I often see stories about child grooming and the like and maybe I'm influenced by that. Or is this situation really as bad as I think it is? Should I tell someone or do nothing? Edit, someone in the comments said that the age of consent in Germany is 14 if both partners are under 18. That means I could tell police about it but I don't really have any evidence, only her words.